Hello, everyone. My name is Zhi Kuan Zhang, currently a postdoc at CISPA. Today, I'm going to talk about our latest work on differentially private data synthesis. This is a joint work of Zhejiang University, CISPA, and Purdue University. This is the outline of my presentation. First, I will introduce the background and some preliminaries. In the big data era, many leading companies continue to collect data from their users, such as browsing history and typing habit, and analyze this data to improve their user experience or do advertisement recommendation. However, various privacy accidents have been exposed in recent years, which makes the users hesitate to share their private data. To protect the user's data privacy, Differential privacy has been the golden standard in both academia and industry. The general idea of a DP is to guarantee that a single sample has limited impact on the output of an algorithm. Formally, given two neighboring data sets differing on one sample, after adding perturbation, the probability of outputting the same value is bounded by a value epsilon. In DP, we call epsilon privacy budget Normally, larger epsilon means less privacy. The most commonly used mechanism to achieve DP is the Laplace mechanism. The main idea is adding Laplace noise to the real value. The magnitude of noise is proportional to the sensitivity of the function f, which measures the maximum changes of adding or deleting one sample on the output. Another widely used mechanism is adding Gaussian noise to the real value. Note that Gaussian mechanism only satisfies epsilon delta dp. Here, delta means the algorithm will violate epsilon dp with very small probability delta. Thus, we also call Gaussian mechanism approximate dp. Next, I will introduce some existing works on differentially private algorithms. Most of the previous studies on DP focus on designing tailored algorithms for specific data analysis tasks, such as frequent item set mining, marginal release, range query, and training machine learning models. However, this paradigm is time consuming, requires a lot of expertise knowledge and error prone. To adjust this problem, a promising solution is to generate a synthetic dataset in a differentially private manner. With the synthetic dataset, we can conduct any downstream data analysis tasks without consuming extra privacy budget and without modifying the existing algorithms. The general idea of this paradigm is to first extract some useful statistical information from the original dataset that satisfies DP and use this statistical information to generate the synthetic dataset. The most straightforward method is to calculate the joint distribution of all attributes that satisfy DP. With this joint distribution, we can easily generate a synthetic dataset by directly sampling from it. However, when the number of attributes is large, the domain of joint distribution is extremely large leading to prohibitive computational cost. The state-of-the-art approach is to learn a graphical model from the original dataset in a differentially private manner and generate the synthetic datasets from the graphic model. There are two widely used graphic models. One is Bayesian network, the other is Markov random field. However, for the Bayesian network, it can only exploit D minus one marginals, which loses many correlation information. For the Markov random field, some clicks can be very large when the number of marginals is large, which leads to high storage cost. Another method is to train a deep generative model, such as GAN in a differentially private manner and generate a synthetic dataset using this GAN. GAN has shown to perform well on image dataset. However, through our experience in the differential privacy synthetic data challenge hosted by NIST, the GAN 
based method cannot achieve satisfiable performance for high dimensional tabular data. Next, I will introduce our proposed method of brief sim. The general idea of brief sim is extracting a set of low dimensional marginal tables from the original data set in a differentially private manner. The marginal table can capture the joint distribution of a subset of the attribute. After obtaining these differentially private marginal tables, we can generate a synthetic data set from them. Note that different from the graphic model based method, PrivSim can support arbitrary number of marginal tables. The design of PrivSim has two challenges. The first challenge is how to choose a set of marginals that captures as much as correlation information and avoid excessive noise. The second challenge is how to generate a synthetic data set from the selected marginals. For marginal selection, we propose a new method called DanceMark. It first considers all two-way marginals. For instance, in this example, we have four attributes and there are in total six two-way marginals. We need to determine which marginal to choose. In this process, we need to consider two sources of errors. First, when a two-way marginal is chosen, we need to consider the noise error since we need to add Gaussian noise to the marginal table to guarantee DP. The noise error is proportional to the number of cells in the marginal table. On the other hand, when a two-way marginal is not chosen, we need to consider dependency error since we cannot capture the correlation information of this marginal table. The most widely used metric to measure the correlation of two attributes is mutual information. However, the sensitivity of mutual information is high. To reduce the sensitivity, we propose a new metric named INDIF which calculates the L1 distance between the real two-way marginal and the two-way marginal generated assuming independence of the two attributes. To strike the trade-off between the noise error and the dependence error, we formulate an optimization problem to choose marginals. Here, Psi i and Phi i represent the noise error and the dependency error of marginal i respectively. Xi is a binary value indicating whether marginal i is selected. Since this optimization problem is NP-hard, we propose a greedy algorithm to select a set of near optimal marginals. To reduce the number of marginals, we further propose an algorithm to combine small two-way marginals to larger marginals. With the set of selected marginals, the next step is how to generate a synthetic data set from them. Our, propose, our proposal consists of two steps. The first step is to randomly generate a data set containing N samples and D attributes. The second step is to update the randomly generated data set to be consistent with all the selected marginals. For instance, if we select a marginal table containing attributes A1 and A2, we first update the records of the data to make its distribution consistent with the marginal table. Then for the selected marginal table A2, A3, we do the same thing and so on and so forth until the distribution of the data set is consistent with all marginals. Note that when we update marginal table a2, A3, it will inevitably destroy the consistency established by marginal A1, A2. To address this problem, we propose to go over all marginals multiple times. We have proposed many other techniques to improve the convergence. We refer the audience to our paper for more details. Finally, I will present our experimental results. We use three downstream data analysis tasks and they are commonly used metrics to measure the performance. They are pairwise marginals, range query, and classification model. We use two state-of-the-art graphical model-based method and one game-based method as our baseline. 
This fig shows the end-to-end -end comparison of different dataset generation methods on the Colorado dataset. We observed that the performance of pre bayes and PGM is close to pre sims for pairwise marginal, meaning they can effectively capture low-dimensional correlation. On the other hand, pre sim significantly outperforms others for range query and classification, meaning PrivSim can also preserve high dimensional correlation. This fig shows the comparison of different marginal selection methods. We observe that our proposed method DanceMark consistently outperforms PrivBayes by exploiting more marginals. Furthermore, DanceMark performs similar in the private setting and the non-private setting that do not add noise in the marginal selection phase which indicates dense mark is robust to noise. Here is the conclusion. In summary, we propose a new method to automatically and privately select marginals that capture sufficient correlations. In addition, we propose a new data synthesis algorithm that can also be used standalone to handle dense graphical models. Thanks for your listening.